All right, well, a while ago I did a video about ADUs and it went over very, very well. I got great response. People called me on it. Now, today's regulations, they have changed so much since that video. And that was only done about six, seven months ago, eight months ago. But I did forget one very, very important thing in that video. Well, you're probably wondering, how big can my ADU be? Now, obviously your budget is gonna be a great impact on how big your ADU can be. But even if money was no object at all, you still need to comply with state and local ADU size regulations. And today, it is so much easier to build an ADU than it ever has been before. The state of California gives the right to everybody who owns a single family home the right to build one ADU and a JDU, Junior Accessory Dwelling Unit. And people who own duplexes or apartments, they can even build more. And I will do a video on that shortly. And in some jurisdictions, you could even build better. So what I'm gonna do in this video is tell you about all the new regulations that have taken place in the ADUs. I'm gonna tell you about the size limitations and about certain numbers that you want to keep below to avoid impact fees. And also, I'm going to take you on a tour of a 403 square foot ADU, which I was just part of building. And you might be surprised as to how roomy it is and what we did to make it look roomier. My name is Steve Arthur, and I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach area and all of the surrounding cities. This is the first time that you've seen me here on YouTube. Go ahead and uh, maybe hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so that you will be notified every single time that I do a video. And I do these videos every single week. And they're all about Long Beach, where you wanna live, and of course, where you wanna play, and even the new rule changes to the ADUs. So if you or anybody that you may know is thinking about relocating to the Long Beach area or relocating out of the Long Beach area, all you gotta do is give me a call, shoot me a text, send an email, or just register on my website for your free gift. And I will reach out to you to personally discuss your real estate goals. So let's get back to the ADU. What exactly is a jurisdiction? Well, I'm glad you asked that. I gotta fire that guy. Well, the jurisdiction is the local government that has the power to make the rules in your area. Sometimes it's a city, sometimes it's the county. It, it just depends on where you live. And that is why it is crucial to work with a designer who is familiar with the new rules of the ADU. Now, let's just go to the other extreme and we're gonna build our way up. But what exactly is the smallest ADU that you can build? Well, that would be 150 square foot. And you know, that is kind of tiny, especially because you have to fit a bathroom and uh, an efficiency kitchen in there also. Now the next number, it has to do with Jaru's, Junior Accessory Dwelling Unit. So you're probably thinking right now, you got an ADU, a Junior Accessory Dwelling Unit. Well, what the hell's that? What is a Junior ADU? All right, let me explain that one to you here real quick. A Junior Accessory Dwelling Unit, basically up to 500 square foot built within the existing space of the primary residence. Examples would be you can convert a master bedroom, a basement, an attic to a Junior ADU. Now, if you wanted to convert your garage, the standard measurements for a garage are 20 by 20 or 20 by 18. So I give you 400 square foot, so you would comply with the under 500 square foot rule, but it has to be attached to the primary residence. If you have a detached garage, then that would become an ADU, not a junior accessory dwelling unit. Now I will do more upon that, but up to a maximum of 500 square foot. So that's just the basics of what it is. And I'm just gonna leave it right there at that. Now we come to a big number, that's 750 square foot. If you build more than 750 square foot, you do have to pay the impact fees. So you know, if you're kind of on the budget and the size of the 50 square foot, 100 square foot, really not gonna matter too much. Just kind of keep it below that 750 square foot level to avoid a lot of those fees. But those fees, they can be expensive. The state says that the local jurisdiction must allow you to build an ADU at least 850 square foot 
What if your jurisdiction has not passed a local ADU uh, ordinance? What do you do then? Well, then you just rely, you just go back to the state regulation. If you are building a deep patch ADU per state regulations, it can be up to 1,200 square foot. This brings us to our last part of this before we go and check out that ADU that we were talking about earlier, which is unlimited. And basically, if you have like an existing dwelling out in the back 40, like a barn, you could go ahead and convert that to an ADU with no size regulations at all. But not too much need for the barns here in uh, Long Beach. But be aware because these new rules and regulations are still brand new. So you might get a little resistance from the city because they just don't understand them yet. So let's go check out this 403 square foot ADU. This thing is pretty cool. Come on, let's go. So I hope you enjoyed that. So what we did is when we were building it, we raised the ceilings to nine foot there to give it a little bit more of an open space feel. So instead of your standard eight foot, you have an extra foot there. And it actually does give it a lot more feel. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the tour. And again, I am a realtor here in Long Beach and all the surrounding cities. So if you or anybody you may know is thinking about moving, all you got to do is give me a call, shoot me a text or send an email. All my information is down below. Until next time, you take care.